वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल गाइज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू फीचर अ लेजेंडरी बर्ड फ्राम द कांटो रीजन एंड दैट वुड बी आर्टिक यू नो सो द लेजेंडरी बर्ड्स डोंट रियली हैव अ लॉट ऑफ प्ले इन द मास्टर लीग बट देबरुन मित्रा हु हैज़ फीचर्ड ऑन द चैनल बिफोर मैनेज टू मैनेज टू यूज आर्टिक यू नो एंड गेट अ फाइव एंड सेट विथ इट सो वी आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू सी हाउ ही यूज आर्टिक यू नो इन दी ग्रेट इन द मास्टर लीग and with all the dragons present in the master league i think articuno can be pretty useful but uh, we will have to see that because it doesn't have a very high cp as compared to the other legendary pokemons so before we start with the team composition if you are new to the channel and if you like our content don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button we are uploading the content daily and if you want to get timely notification for that do hit the subscribe button and if you want to join the battles the discord server the link to that will be in the description down below so let's move on to the team composition quickly and the team which is using is shiny giratina mewtwo and articuno and i think that both giratina and mewtwo are hundos as well along with the articuno so uh, running pretty standard move sets on every pokemon but it it's very noticing to see that he is running a double legacy mewtwo with shy strike and shadow ball so definitely it will be pretty interesting to see how he will how he will use that and looking at the pv poke rating of the team it's it's decent it's surprising to see uh, that bulky say uh, definitely mewtwo is not very bulky in the great in the master league uh, we will have to see how bulky arctic you know is uh, i don't expect it to be a lot of bulky because it doesn't max out at a very high cp range but still i let's see how it will do and it trades as b in coverage and safety so looking pretty decent team and if i in my opinion if he manages to pair arctic you know up against something like giratina or, or groudon then then definitely it will be it will be a very favorable situation so without further delays let's, let's start with the battles to see how the battle goes so picking up a negative lead here and i will save swap into mewtwo and i think mewtwo in the master league is a very decent save swap and uh, he is running double legacy one and i am waiting for a hundo mewtwo to invest an etm on that but until now until then i will run a uh, side strike and focus blast and a, the opponent has swapped into heatran which is a very interesting pick and it although it, it is taking neutral damage but mewtwo is so powerful it just yeah it it can just uh, do a lot of damage with the side strike as well you can see uh, with the two side strikes uh, the heatran was already in red i think he could have potentially farmed uh, the heatran down but still uh, the main thing is that he is man he has managed to flip this match up around and now he will be able to pair uh, this togekiss up against the arctic you know unfortunately togekiss will completely farm down the mewtwo and will get a hit on energy but um, arctic you know i think is a very decent response to uh, to togekiss but definitely would need to watch out for ancient power which will be double super effective uh the opponent i think made a very questionable play of swapping into giratina because uh, giratina will take a lot of damage with the uh, with that icy wind and will uh, need to shield so now uh, even if it's a shadow ball this deep of shadow ball will not do a lot of damage on to uh, on to his giratina and he will be able to or he ba barely not able to get to another shadow ball but this is an ominous wind right yeah definitely the opponent goes for an ominous wind barely able to uh, get to a shadow ball the shadow ball will be able to knock out the uh, the giratina uh, although togekiss will farm down but i think uh, the togekiss will go down to an icy wind now and yeah i think uh, uh, i think the opponent should not have swapped uh, swapped into giratina should have uh, should have played this match up out but but regardless yeah let's see moving to the next one let's see what do we get and i think i should have cut this part out but picking up a negative lead again this time with the dragonite and swapping into mewtwo and the opponent swaps into Mel uh, metagross so if the shadow ball lands this will do massive amount of damage onto the metagross i i don't think it will ko or uh, yeah it, the metagross barely survive but uh, now the mewtwo i think will definitely invest a shield and will completely farm down the metagross and the metagross goes for earthquake as well which i think was not necessary but uh, in comes vaporeon which is yeah uh, i think i am i'm speechless here but vaporeon will do will take a lot of damage um getting a bit of lag again so he told me that he he 
sorry for that he got a lot lot of lag uh, during these plays uh, which i think it has is part of the game now i think you have to adjust with that but uh, vaporian will take out the mewtwo but he can come in with giratina the opponent will swap out to dragonite to which he has a very good response in the form of the sartiguno and the opponent quits realizing they cannot there was no chance the opponent could have pulled the win off but moving on to the next match picking up a positive lead this time around and let's see the if the opponent would want to swap out of this match uh, the opponent is staying in surprisingly maybe the opponent is running payback which but since they did not shield it i think it's not payback it's too early to be won and or it, uh, it's it's a payback but payback I, I think it's it's very disappointing because it doesn't even KO or giratina but so the opponent will come in with Mewtwo and it's not really looking good for our opponent because uh, Mewtwo will definitely invest a shield and he goes for Shadow Ball. I think he could have uh, tried to bait there because uh, Mewtwo was definitely going to shield and now he will go for an ominous win. Uh, so taking both the shields and taking out Machamp, I think uh, this Kiratina has done a really great job. Getting a bit of, oh my, oh my god, getting a bit of lag again, but definitely now he would want to invest a shield just in case it's a shadow ball. So shielding the shadow ball correctly, but again, like, yeah, getting a, getting more lag. And the opponent is able to throw two shadow balls, but he, uh, or the opponent is able to catch on this uh, side strike onto the Giratina. But I think at this point, the game is pretty much wrapped up because uh, Articuno can... Uh, uh, can Artic, you know, farm down the Giratina completely? That we have to see. Uh, no, definitely he cannot. Uh, and he cannot also over farm because Shadow Claws are doing a lot of damage. And he don't want put uh, don't want to put Artic, you know, in farm down range. But Mewtwo will come in and Mewtwo will definitely have have to throw. But it will be a race to the charge move now. Uh, but I think Dave's Mewtwo will be at on energy because the opponent will have to land a Shadow Ball, whereas he can go for a Strike Strike too. Uh, to take down this Mewtwo so so yeah very well played and lag definitely could have flipped that matchup around uh, yeah uh, moving on to the next one let's see what do we get and we are in a Machamp lead so again picking up a favorable lead and let's see if this Machamp is running payback or uh, are they running cross shop rock slide so going for uh, Shadow Ball straight away because uh, definitely not exp uh, uh, the opponent shields are so it's most likely they are running payback so going to invest a shield and uh, shields the payback correctly but I, I think it's questionable play because payback doesn't even KO so the opponent's option to Togekiss and he come in with uh, with Articuno now so re really great job but uh, it's unlikely that Machamp will run Rock Slide and uh, uh, and payback so this is an ancient bar I, I'm not expecting a shield or the opponent goes for flamethrower uh, which barely knocks out the uh, the Arctic, you know, so now he can safely farm down the Togekiss and in comes Machamp, so strange, strange play, maybe the opponent is trying to burn the energy but they have something really weak to Giratina in the back so Machamp is trying to get to a payback but now he goes, uh, is, is that an ominous win? yeah, he goes for an ominous win, this does not KO Machamp, Machamp banks the energy but in comes Metagross and Metagross is going to just get annihilated with the yeah this metagross is going to eat a shadow ball to the face and i can i can totally understand the opponent's pain and I, yeah he quits yeah i i could totally understand that uh, eating a shadow ball onto a metagross uh, picking up a positive lead again this time in the form of the sky ogre let's see the opponent will swap out on to catch on the shadow ball uh, didn't really quite see what pokemon was incoming uh, so they take a shadow ball on to dialga which does massive amount of damage and this uh, the shadow ball damage has put this dialga into Psy strike range so Psy strike barely knocks out the uh, dialga but dialga has dialga got farmed down now um, he can take a surf yeah, uh, so Mewtwo survive a surf and will be able to get to a side strike. So this Mewtwo has put in a lot of work and this side strike will do massive amount of damage. But the opponent will shield the side strike. Uh, definitely should come in with Giratina and def uh, the opponent is swaps out banking the energy. So but this has to be, uh, yeah, he has to be very energy conscious about this because uh, I think I think Kyogre was able to get through uh, three surfs. So he, potentially he can get to a blizzard. The opponent will shield the shadow ball and now he come in with with Arctic, you know, and let's see how much damage will side strike will do and not expecting or uh, they go for a shadow ball, which I think uh, Arctic, you know, is quite bulky. It can take a few hits. So going for an icy wind, icy wind does not KO, but lowers down the attack on the Mewtwo and Mewtwo cannot 
yeah me i think with the debuff side strike will not ko so or it ko's uh, but he can come in with kyogre this is definitely not a blizzard so he can uh, safely no shield but uh, he i think he could not have uh, he could have gone for a no shield there but um, going for Shadow Ball, this will put down Kyogre very low, I think, in Shadow Claw ra range. And one Shadow Claw knocks out the Kyogre, and uh, yeah, Muto goes down to a couple of Shadow Claws. So, so yeah, very well played in this game as well. And that's it for this video, guys. And keeping a short video for today because uh, it's it's a bit busy with the work and all. So probably a couple of videos for uh, the following days would be would be one set or probably two sets, uh, depending upon how much how much work I have. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video regardless. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Peace.